So, have you all met Mr. Peter Pleaser? Well, I have and I am here to introduce you to it. I'm using a, a term called Mr. because it signifies a distinct form of dominance over women and like marginalized gender. Mr. People Pleaser aka PP manifests within us women dictating to us what is considered good or nice. Today I stand before you representing the countless women that I've encountered in my practice as well as those who I've met in my everyday life and all of whom have had a brush with Mr. PP at some point in their life. I'm sure many of the women here also echo my thoughts and not that I want to like exclude any gender but patriarchy more so than ever has donned this hat on us women uh, than anyone else. So I was introduced to Mr. PP at a very young age uh, and it came in the form of conforming to adults. Um, you know, excelling in academics to get all the attention and um, taking the role of a peacekeeper in the house by wearing like a perpetual smile. All in all, I had to make sure that Mr. PP was uh, content. Uh, I'm sure many of you all have said yes, in, even in friendships when you all wanted to say no. And to my surprise, uh, you know, even my friendships weren't immune to Mr. PP's tactics. Uh, I uh, it minimized what I want to uh, what what I felt. Uh, it made it made me think of uh, my needs as lesser than saying things like uh, you know what you're going through, what you're feeling is unimportant. Your friends are having a much bigger problem. As I ventured into the space of uh, professionalism. Uh, Mr. PP became even more apparent. It coerced me into complying with authority figures that belittled my values. Uh, and uh, alongside that, it made me very wary of conflict. Uh, all in all, I was uh, really scared of defying Mr. PP. It also distanced me from myself and my identities, leading to the fear of failure and judgment. It became very difficult for me to build uh, deep connections as well as be vulnerable with uh, people in my life. Do you think I should have consented with Mr. PP? Do you think that it was okay for me to live in a space of uh, fear, in the state of constant fear of upsetting uh, someone in authority? Well, I decided not to and I realized the extent of its hold on me and my dreams. And that was not the path that I chose for myself as well as for the women in my life and, uh, and actually not for anybody. I was not okay to be in this constant fight to flight uh, mode and continue with it. So I assumed a stance with Mr. PP where I scrutinized its motives and tactics and I decided enough is enough. What would happen if I reclaim my voice, my needs, my opinions? And to my surprise, Mr. PP was not happy with it. It felt really, really threatened. And this is when it, I, it, this marked the birth of a skill I've now come to need, owning authenticity. I broke free from the fortress constructed by Mr. PP. I moved away from judgment and towards acceptance. I traded perfectionism for just giving things a go. It also helped me uh, move away from distrust and invite people in helping me deal with my challenging times. And I know now that I don't have to do everything on my own and I can reach out for help. When I reflect on the skill of owning authenticity, what matters to me is how I stand up for myself and the people in my life. and. Uh, uh, what, is, what is also important is that I value my needs without having to undermine someone else's. Standing up for myself also means that I have zero tolerance for abuse, disrespect, injustice as well as uh, judgment and uh, which comes in the form of like setting clear boundaries with friends, family members as well as uh, co-workers. And all this while Mr. PP is ever present, but its influence on me is deteriorating every day. One way for me to continue this battle with Mr. PP is to sort of uh, 
engage in a routine that is taking care of myself and you know going for walks, journaling, reading, being around with my uh, dogs has really really helped me. Uh, I have also realized that my voice matters and that is why I am here and what I say has an impact and it can make a difference and, uh, I, and I felt more authentic speaking my thoughts and what I, what I feel and it not only helps in nurturing uh, conversations but it also helps in, uh, in you know, having a fulfilling, fulfilling relationship with people around me. So my values hold a very special place uh, in my heart, owning my authenticity has given me the courage to follow my dreams and my dream is to move away from predefined molds and not to have like a prerequisite for acceptance and uh, love. I yearn for a space where self-expression isn't stifled with Mr. PPs. Uh, I hope to collaborate with respect, authenticity and tenderness and to free ourselves from the desires of being always nice or good. I want to focus on the source of being uh, empowerment and not adhere to societal expectations. As I move forward, I hope for a world where our true selves get nurtured without restraint. Where we say what we want to say, where authenticity becomes the norm of our everyday existence, where we break free from people pleasing and embrace the boundless possibilities of being unapologetically you.